What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to get some more roofing wrapped up on the winery build series. This project has been a lot of fun but it's coming to a close here pretty quick. For those of you that haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below as well. We just launched our merch website. We have a ton of awesome merchandise up. All of it's previewed right over here. 40% off discount for the first month on any new members. If you guys want more info on that, you can find everything down in the description below. We're gonna get some tools rolled out though and get to working. Not exactly sure where Fox and Q are. They're not here though. I think it might just be slow because it's really cold. So we've got our 24 inch dummy tail that's gonna go at the ridge there. We're gonna snap these guys down both sides, cut all of them, hang our fascia, do our starter. We could cheat back that way. Six inch SDS, catches quite a bit of it. There's nothing called out for structural screws, but man, do they help. That thing's not going anywhere. So now that that's 24 off, we'll do 24 off down here, snap down all of them, cut them. So we're gonna butt the shear panel. Twenty-four. Now we'll pull across all of them. I think my snap line got wet somehow because it did not snap well. A lot of you guys were asking to see the soffit detail. Today you get to see it. I'll show you every bit of it. Now we'll do the same thing, we'll snap down to there. All right. That's my drink.
My new coat really likes sawdust. Now fish is good to go. plan is to keep that side up on the lift and use the other lift to hold the bottom. Typical fascia, you'd have someone just hang off the side and hold it. This stuff weighs too much. Yeah, if I pull this up square, get this one underneath there. So since a 16 won't go through this, and we don't want a toenail because that's not going to help us, we're going to run SDSs through this into the lookouts. So this is typically a three person job. One in the lift, one on each side, and you guys can pretty much take care of it. Since there's only two of us today, since Q and Fox decided they were taking the day off, he's gonna have to put the lift up under here, fork underneath the fascia. Send me up here, I'll put that into the fascia on the forks, that end goes to the ridge. Kind of an interesting way of doing it, but since everybody decided today was an off day, um, yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. Oh yeah, we got this. I think you need to go up with that one. So then I'll start at the ridge up here, get that screwed, work my way down. I'd like to start a screw in this thing. So since we locked the ridge in, screwed the first one in, now all we have to do is lift these ones up. Make sure they're flush to top. Improvise when possible. Same process. Instead of trying to lift this thing by hand though, use leverage.
little bit of pressure. Some big fascia. So it'll match this one over here. We've got the four by eight that we just put up and then the two by six on the outside of that. So if all works out, that gap should close up right now. Top shouldn't open. Hold that. Bottoms worked out money. Tops are good. That one's buttoned up. That ain't moving. That's good. That's a good happy medium. Can we win? Nail it.
right guys, this whole side sheeted out. We are just about ready to hop over onto that side and work it that way, along with onto this side and get that done. Now I wanted to touch base on a few things because I've been asked quite a bit. Here in California, we have nailing inspections. They inspect every single nail that is in the shear panel, on the outside of the walls, and our roof sheathing. I've been asked countless times why we don't Tyvek our walls on the ground. Two reasons. One, that's the siding contractor's job. And two, we have nailing inspections, so we can't. For those of you that are curious though, perimeter nailing. The perimeter of the sheet. In the field is in here. So standard nailing is six and 12. Six around the perimeter, 12 in the field. So every six inches you need to have a nail and every 12 inches in the field. So we're gonna have nails every six inches all the way up. Every six inches all the way up. And then in the field, every 12 inches. When they do inspection on this place, I'll walk it with them and show you guys. Hopefully they're okay with being on camera. We've had quite a few inspectors that aren't. They'll bust out a tape measure and call you on it if it's six and a half instead of six. They get strict. So that's why we don't tie our walls in the ground. It's also why it takes a little bit longer to sheet because we're not just blowing staples into it. But the sun is going down. It means we gotta get out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and head on out. I will see you guys in our next video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. By the way, guys, our merch website is officially live. We have a ton of awesome merch right up over there. You guys click the link in the description below. But I will see you guys next time. Bang on.